Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition The party that will only kill with a blade, arrow, sword or hammer Slight editorial note You might see some inconsistencies between health and spell slots and whatnot When I got to this point last time everything crashed And that was before I had quick saved after the fight So I repeated the fight but it didn't go exactly the same as you can imagine but we are here, we've pillaged the Poisoner's Tunic out of the Spider Matriarch, and now with that done, and Astarian's Nimble Feet, we can go and look and see what that shiny purple thing is down there, because we are no longer at risk of any kind of spiders around here. Let's see if this skeleton has anything of interest. I know that between patch 4 and 5, there were some additions to magic items and loot and various things in many locations but I do not have a list of those although I'm sure you can find one online if you wish to find it but for right now we do know that around the corner here oh we can go up these vines we do know there is a nice shiny purple gem for us just around here Well, it's just standard poison, isn't it? Yeah. Just a uh, disadvantage on checks and attack rolls, but nothing more sinister or deadly. Right, where's this gem? There it is. A dark amethyst. I wonder where we might find to put that later. Anything around the back here? Seems like there should be something more to find back here. Oh, there is a, a stone way up. And climb the cracks, crags here. All right, with that done, fortunately we left ourselves a bridge to get back. With that done, we can get out of here. So, let's corral the rest of the party together. And I suppose we can take the bucket route out just around the corner. So... We've got all the party together. No one's sneaking, so we're not going to accidentally... I'll take my torch. Thank you. We're not going to run into any fights around here because everybody has been killed. So let's just find this here. This rope will take us up to the well up in the town above, which means we have a faster means of escape. Now, I think there are a few goblins left around town, primarily on the back side of this building. There are also three ogres in here. And I think if we can have a good conversation with the ogres, we can get the horn. And I think the horn is not a magic item that would penalize the rule set we're currently playing or the, ro the role play that we have. So... Any extra food or anything here? We've got some wine, some rum. That's good camp supplies, that is. As an orc skull. Right. Now, are there going to be goblins around this corner? Because we've been through here before, or we've been through parts of town before, A quick rummage. where we had been able to walk through quietly previously and then attacked horribly on later occasions so who knows what's going to be safe or not right now but down at the bottom of this staircase there are two unsuspecting goblins I guess they are slightly more suspecting of us yeah I want to bite him Power courses through you. Authority. No, I'm going to save that for the um, the ogres if I need it. But for here, we do get our plus one from Happy. It's even marked there, which is cute. But that's not going to do it. 
We could roll inspiration, but I think we can take these guys in a fight. I think of all of the fights in the world, this is the one to be kind of least afraid of. Especially because the ogres behind us aren't going to get involved. Right. And we do have our bite back. Be quick. So, I mean, it would be rude not to have a snack. And they get the bloodless thing as well, so they feel a bit woozy. Minus one to their attack roll, saving throws, and ability checks. And while we're here, we can bonus action offhand strike. We miss, but that's fine. What's this guy doing? Getting around the back of a Starion. Don't think that's going to prove too much of a problem. Let's not shoot a Starion, please. Should have gone with one of our special attacks to do the extra d8 of damage, but you live and you learn. And that's also a great shame, but Frobo here should be able to do just fine. I regret everything I just said. But hey, Astarian is a champ. I think we missed with our main attack and then crit on the bonus action attack, perhaps. But that went very smoothly. I'll take the cash. I'll leave the weaponry. Because we're not worried too much about that many magic items, I'm not so worried about finding every piece of thing to sell later on. But what I will do is from here, who would I like to have this conversation? Let's have Frobo do it. Wish to live in more interesting times. My We'll guide ourselves, but we also should be able to get Illithid powers going on this conversation. If this all goes sideways, I have no idea if we could currently beat this fight or not. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Hello. Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Uh, I'll do you one better. I am the Chosen. Oh, we shouldn't have chosen him because he's got minus one from Dudless, but so be it. DC 10, we've got plus two, minus one, plus one D4. That's going to go just fine. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavoured. Food? Food? No, no food. food. Friend. Thank you, Bruce. Adventurers are friends, not food. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I see you don't have a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. 
or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. I think we can give you a better deal. Talk. You should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. I'll give you 500 gold. No, I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen. The flesh. Oh, God. All right, so we need to roll like at least a 17. That's not going to do it. Wah, wah. All right, let's. Uh, I'll use some inspiration here. Didn't even get to watch that roll. One more. Go on. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. God damn. Well, so be it. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. A serenade to my ears and a... Take my bone horn. One blow, and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Oh. Everyone around I will blow your horn. Them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre, kill everyone around. All right, we now have some potential allies. Already. Sound the horn. That might be worth a look. And we got some inspiration back. Which which thing is worth a look? We've got lumps war horn. We'll blow that later. Has to put my hands on everything. Well, if there was something to do with this pillar, they're not letting us see it. Right. I was wondering, I asked you wonderful folks in the comments, if the deep gnome we released off of the windmill got flung anywhere. Apparently they might be over here by hopscotch. That's the goblin. Once, long ago. I don't see the deep gnome. Shame. All right. Who's missing? Missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Not a clue. Right. Well, that is one side of this done. Now, the other side is inside these shabby wooden doors. Not only is there an apothecary here that we can pilfer our way around. I want the antitoxin, please. I don't think I've ever actually effectively used an antitoxin, but hey. Maybe I'll just be more liberal about selling stuff this time round. But just behind the counter there, there is a trap door. And if then, unless there's anything else we want here, potion of sleep, yes. Potion of healing, yes. Antitoxin, sure. Rustic chest. I did not mean to have a conversation. 
leave. You got in the way of my looting, Astarian. How dare you. Ah, the potions of healing are excellent. Right, let's check the ledger. A cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. Found it. Shadowheart, do you need your eyes checked, darling? Hello again. There's our superior dark vision. I almost feel like a Starian is kind of breaking the fourth wall when he whispers hello when you select him as a playable character. He just knows. Nice of all this stuff to be camp supplies. I don't know how effective it is versus the weight of carrying the stuff, but hey, food is food, and at some point we're going to run out if we keep needing to long rest. But the huge amounts of potions of healing and the like around here are incredibly welcome. I wonder. And then round the corner... There are some more secrets in this place. Potion of poison resistance. Cheeky chest. Antitoxin. Cold resistance. Heal giant strength. Basic poison that looks like a potion. The doctor's log. Are any of these the children that were listed on the paper outside, because that would be interesting if it were. And if we pop this chest, this crate over there, you'll find... Cheeky little switch. And along from the cheeky little switch, we have an only slightly scary damp crypt. Right, I think... Before we do anything else, we still have a whole bunch of superiority die and the like. So rather than short resting for health, let's get Shadow Heart to do a prayer of healing. That's the best use of her second level spell slots we're really gonna get, apart from all party blesses, I think. Let's see what the day brings. And then where do we begin? Let's just begin by looting this as if we didn't know what was going to happen. Well, that's gone swimmingly, of course. But if we can do this with one hero, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to do it with four. Right, so let's get in close. Because this way we get three attacks, even if two of them aren't the strongest. Then with Frobo, carry on with the archery. And then Lazel can finish the picture. Or not, apparently. I will action surge. Because if we can keep them at one, then one creature can then only summon one more creature, and we don't have any worry about exponential growth. Excellent shot. Come on, you can do two more with a side dagger. Or not. Fight. Let's go. Right. No need for anything fancy there. Crits are always welcome, however. My path be true. And let's get a tripping attack in here. Alright, that's gone really well. I'll leave the weaponry. Are they going to explode out of this one as well? No. Just cash. Quickly, then. Let's go check out the rest of these things. There's a scroll of summon Quasit, not Quaste, as I previously had been pronouncing it. 
gold for everybody. Objective noted. Bones I have no interest in. Dark journal. Six night tool. 1371 DR. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lamps are cured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived, and only my apprentice knows me as Illith Toth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death and worse to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life, that pride to lose me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zolri Zolkirs find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say, but if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guards I've raised. And we get a little slither of XP for reading that, which is nice. That's just a book about gods that I'm not so interested in. I'll take fancy arrows, though. Did they change the shape of this Onward. piece of land? I don't remember being able to walk through this piece and up to there. Possibly, possibly not, but for now. Onward. We have a mirror to speak to. Without delay. And let's give ourselves Can't give up now. Some inspiration. Some guidance rather. For battle. And Lazel, you can have a little interaction. Um, oh, Githyanki, my name is Hazira. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Uh, Let's go with the Intimidation. DC 15. I think we can manage that. Oh, come on. This does not seem fair. Use it or lose it. All right, do I have a problem? I might have a problem. Yes, we have a problem. We have a big problem. We have a very hot problem. What would be more interesting is if you could target that thing to try and shoot it or disarm it, perhaps. But it seems to not interact in such a way. Watch your back. Interesting that it's destroying all of the coffins that it had previously oh dear previously been protecting using them as this way. a defensive measure in this place. But hey, that's their prerogative I suppose. Fifteen turns remaining on this fire. I'll just let that pass. Alright, let's go try that again, but we'll use the actual conversation this time, shall we? Because Astarian's charming. He can talk through any situation. You are not mine. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Only what thank you of the Zolkir known as Zastam. You remember stories of Zastam, a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. A foul lich. You are no Zolkir, tell me. Why might one use balsam ointment? Uh, to treat burns. Uh, 
I read a doctor's journal. He used balsam to clean a wound. I thought it was treat burns. A poor choice. God damn. This is what I get for not paying attention, isn't it? Faster, 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 faster. Step lightly. I should not go with my own intuition. Well, I waited a few minutes and the big scary orb of death didn't come round. So let's let our main hero have a shot at the ornate mirror and maybe we'll get through it third time's a charm. I've done this enough times, I should have just memorized the responses by now. You are not my master. Step forward. Oh, what think you of the Zulki known as Zastan? Foul. Tell me. Why not accept if you could see anything in me? What would it be? You see welcome. Alright. Third time's the charm. So well guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Join me next time to find out, and then we'll go for further adventures up in the above lands. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.